Truck 61 here to demonstrate truck company evolution number three, aerial high point operations off the TDA. All right, to begin our operations, we want to create our equipment cache. So for our Stokes basket to attach to the aerial, there's some considerations. First of all is our equipment. We have our, our rope rigging bag. We have our rope bag with red rope. We have our anchor system. We have our change of direction. We have our collection plate that attaches to the aerial. We have our tagline for our Stokes and our Stokes. For TDA operations, we'll be conducting the belay off the roof. For that, we're gonna need an anchor system, edge protection, one rope bag that's white in color that helps us distinguish our belay from our main, and a secondary rope bag to establish an anchor. So now we're here to set up our equipment at the tip of the ladder. A couple considerations are, we want to make sure that we're pinned back in rescue mode on our aerial for the operation. We want to extend our aerial eight to 10 feet. The reason we do that is we want to make sure that our system here does not damage the waterway. You can see, we've just used a double loop on this webbing here and attached to our collection plate for our change of direction, which is attached to our O-ring here. Another option for the TDAs with a tip attachment point is the rescue roller. We use the same considerations, making sure that the waterway is pinned in the rescue section mode. We extend the ladder eight to 10 feet to prevent any damage to the waterway. We're gonna use two blue webbings in a double loop configuration connected to our collection plate and connected to our pulley, change of direction pulley, to our stokes. There are many ways to attach your tagline to your stokes. Firefighter Johnson's just simply gonna attach it with a bowline before we go into raising operations. Next, we have two options to attach our low change of direction. You can see we have two ports here on our pedestal. The position of our change of direction is dependent on the orientation of our aerial. In this scenario, our aerial is oriented to my left, which means our anchor system needs to be to my right. In order to keep our rope in line with our waterway, our change of direction needs to be on the far side of the pedestal. Our change of direction has a pulley, a carabiner, a prusik, an inch and a half hose for edge protection. In this scenario, you can see the aerial is oriented to my right. My anchor system needs to be placed to my left and my change of direction needs to reach the far side of this pedestal to keep that rope in line with our waterway. So now we're ready to raise the stokes. The fireman on the roof has dropped the belay line down. We're attached to the belay line. What that allows us to do is once we've raised the stokes to the ideal position on the ledge, the fireman on the roof can easily pull the stokes in using the belay line. Another operation you might encounter for high point operations off the TDA is a victim that's below grade. A couple changes to our operations are as the tagline will go down below to the rescuer so they can orient the Stokes basket. The TDA, the aerial, the tip of the aerial will go directly above the victim so that you can position the Stokes as close to the victim as possible. And lastly, you need to position your anchor and an extended distance away from your operation so that you can have a large haul field so that you can raise the victim. Five considerations when conducting TDA aerial high point operations are, once the aerial's in the correct position, it stays in position. It's not a crane. 
the waterway and the webbing. Don't attach the webbing to the bolted section of the TDA. When we set up the stokes and we attach it to the aerial, we do it when the aerial is extended about eight to 10 feet so we don't damage the waterway when we raise the aerial. The roof anchor belay. You gotta choose an anchor, but also bring up two bags if necessary. The orientation of the aerial during rescue operations will determine the position of the anchors and your change of direction. And below grade operations. This requires an extensive haul field, so position your incoming units accordingly. If you have any questions, please contact any one of our rope rescue technicians on the tech trucks.